up for Hampton and Richmond Borough in our familiar red and blue shirts and blue shorts. Number one, Alan Julian. Number two, Captain Luke Ruddock. A welcome return for, uh, for the captain today for Hampton. Number three, Rue Donaldson. Number four, Dean Inman. Number six, Sam Cox. Number 10, Jake Gray. Number 12, Nico Muir. Number 14, Ryan Gondo. Number 15, David Fisher. Number 17, Tyrell Miller-Rodney. Number 18, Kyron Farrell. Substitutes for Hampton today. Number seven, dropping to the bench, Wilson Carvalho. Uh, number nine, Nathan Minas. Number 13, Miles Bowman. Number 19, again dropping to the bench, Christian Smith. And number 21, Razak Coleman. Dean Inman with the first touch for the Beavers. Out to the wing, just slightly over Rue Donaldson's head, unfortunately, for Hampton. It's a front. Hampton 4-4-2, Rob, look, uh, looks to me, formation-wise. Yeah, it does have that. I mean, oh, and there's a good ball through there, too. And it is Alfie Rutherford with her. Oh, and he's pulled it wide. Holds the ball up for Hampton and he knocks it out. Nice ball to Ryan Gondo on the wing for Hampton. A wash with Dorking players. That's excellent defending by Dorking there. Sam Cox for Hampton trying to keep the pressure on. Gondo. That's a good tackle. Dorking deal with that very, very well indeed. And that's a strong tackle there by Jake Gray. But the ball does break to the Dorking Wanderers winger who's looking, who's attacking with pace, but that's excellent defending there by Luke Ruddock, who gets, that's a fantastic tackle by Luke Ruddock there. Uh, oh, and, ooh, and David Fisher, <laughs> oh, well. I don't think, yeah, he wasn't expecting He was that. definitely not expecting that. If he, if he had been, he would have easily turned that one round. Farrell with the corner for Hampton. And that's well won. Ryan Gondo with the shot, and it was a tame shot. Mm. Unfortunately, he didn't quite catch that, and the ball trickles out for a mm. dorking goal kick. Yeah, look, look, you can generally tell if there's an issue with a challenge or a free kick just by the reaction of the players a lot of the time. Matthew Briggs in the corner for Dorking. That's a very, very good ball back. That was a great tackle that, there by Rue Donaldson. That was an excellent tackle by yeah. Rue Donaldson, doing what he does best. Yeah. Well out by Ryan Gondo. The ball gets played straight back into the danger zone from the Dorking defender, but it's well won by Miller Rodney. And Hampton tack here, Rue Donaldson with a good ball up top for Ryan Gondo. Ryan Gondo marshaled very, very well there by, by Kane Wills. Excellent covering, uh, defending there by the Dorking mm. captain. And the ball is... Uh, is hit upfield but well won again by Luke Ruddock at the back there and Sam Cox for the right back position for Hampton but it's a disappointing ball lucky deflection back to Hampton and who retained possession and Ryan Gondo slows down play Miller Rodney with a good ball out to Kyron Farrell to enable the Beavers to build again Farrell good play by Kyron Farrell knocks it into Nico Muir again holds the ball up very well very good ball out to Ryan Gondo and that's a good Ooh. effort by Ryan Gondo, but it's... It, it that's a great header by Luke Ruddock. Whoa, and it has cannoned off Ooh. Kane Wills. I mean, what a fantastic shot. Alan Julian was, well, he was beaten. He didn't even move, Rob. Yeah. And it has cannoned against the post. I have uh, to admit. Well, I have to admit, Alan Julian there was flat-footed almost. He won't well, like me using that phrase, but he was looking at that. Oh, and there's ball through. Nico Muir for Hampton, and it's it's a good, well claimed by Sam House. Kyron Fowle for the free kick for Hampton. And it's into the wall, well defended again by Dorking. Long ball, sorry, high ball, shall I say, from uh, Jake Gray. Yeah, that was one of those classic free kicks, Rob, where it's almost a little bit too close. Uh, it but was, it's a long, yeah. long ball up by Dean Inman, and again, well defended by, by the Dorking back four. But Kyron Farrell looking to build momentum here. Jake Gray. Good ball to Farrell. And that's a... Oh, and it's gone straight across yeah. the six-yard box. 
We know what he's capable of, and that's a good ball through, but well cut out by the Hampton defence. And Rude Donaldson with the opportunity to build an attack slightly got underneath it. But Nico Muir, great strength by Nico Muir there. And it's an excellent ball through by Nico Muir. And Ryan Gondo is on the edge of the box for Hampton, and it's great defending by him. I think that was Fogden. Who's, yeah, it was Fogden. Excellent covering defending there by Wes Fogden for Dorking. And that was another opportunity for Hampton to build momentum. But the ball breaks here to Jake Gray. Good ball out to Rue Donaldson. Donaldson back to Kyron Farrell. Farrell is under a bit of pressure, but he does well there, Farrell. And the right on the edge of the box. Right uh, the and it was, a, it was a foul. There was no doubt about that. The, this is quite right. Um, <laughs> no, Farrell. And oh, and I, wow. Uh, and I was going to say there, it was interesting that the, there was cries for handball. And f I mean, it would have been extremely harsh if it was given, but the ball cannoned into the Dorking defender. Uh, There's no question that it hit his arm, but very, very harsh, I think, to give anything other than a, I think uh, it a, a, been, a play yeah. on. But there is a, a, a counter attack now, and it is Alfie Rutherford for Dorking. And it's well tackled by Jake Gray, who is striding forward for Hampton. David Fisher with the ball for Hampton. Fisher, there's a good ball out to Nico Muir. One touch back to Ryan Gondo. Back to Muir. Tyrell Miller-Rodney for the Beavers, looking to build play. Good one too with Farrell, but the ball breaks clear to the Dorking uh, winger, Jimmy Mewitt. Jimmy Mewitt just holding the ball up, waiting for support. And uh, the support does arrive in Philpot, but it's... Oh, and that's oh. a blatant foul. And if that's not a yellow card, then I would be absolutely amazed. I think the, there'll be too much. It might be one minute. Yeah, that's we'll no more than a couple, see. I wouldn't have thought. But Ryan Gondo here for Hampton. And that's a good, quick feet by Gondo. Managed to if give you can himself see Fisher a couple in the oh. And that's a very, very good ball through. And it's Nico Muir and Sam Howes comes out excellently. But the ball breaks back to Nico Muir. And it's under referee. And, and it's off. Oh, and it's a... And the referee has given a penalty to Hampton and Richmond Borough following the foul on David Fisher. It's Ryan He's Gondo. The, you know, Ryan Gondo for Hampton. And, and he buries it. Uh, and he's finished that with, uh, well, with, uh, that, that's a great, great penalty kick. I've not seen that for a long time, Rob. He was actually facing the other way. I think the Dorking would, uh, well, just as we say that, we can discuss that, Rob, at, at the, uh, in the half-time chat. But Dorking in under pressure. They'll definitely not be happy about being a goal behind. And I'm sure Mark White has you know, definitely had some words. To just sniff out any, any danger. Nicky Wheeler on the wing here for... Dorking Wanderers, outside of the boot, pass down the wing to Alfie Rutherford. Rutherford with a sweeping pass right across the right wing, and there is a good opportunity here. And oh, and the ball is, the ball just goes, and it's well cut out once again there. And the rest, it's a penalty. Yeah, it's a penalty for Dorking, um, and it was Luke Ruddock late there. I don't think there can be any complaints from Luke. You know, in Luke the end, Moore. It's the penalty. Luke Moore penalty. And Alan Julian has saved the penalty for Hampton and Richmond Borough. Uh, I mean, he's gone down to his bottom right, and it's a fantastic save, Man and Julian. We're not out of the woods just yet. The ball is across, and it's a good effort. And, it and there's a good header out by the Hampton defender. Good effort, and it has hit the post, and it has gone in off the rebound. And where was the covering? Def where was the defence, Rob? I, I mean, the ball is they're, they're guilty of ball watching the, there the, to some respects, Hampton, because the ball came well, through the crowd of players. It hit the post, and everybody looked flat-footed. They looked as if they were trying to work out what was going to happen. Wilson Carvalho fouled there by the Dorking midfielder. It's a quick free kick. Inman. Eamon plays it out to Ryan Gondo, number 14 on the wing for Hampton. It's well marshalled by the Dorking defence. Miller Rodney wins the ball back. Gondo. He does well, Gondo. Still with the ball. And it's a looped ball in. And it, yeah, it's uh, Ryan Gondo for Hampton. Gondo. Shooting opportunity for Gondo. And it's a great. Oh, well, that's a fantastic shot. Carvalho. Oh, that's not the right pass. That's not the pass. Gray. 
Gondo. Ryan Gondo for Hampton. Twisting, turning. Good ball through. Coleman. Raz oh. Coleman with the shot for Hampton. He's just pulled it wide. As, and we'll pause on that for a minute because the ball is through here for Hampton on the far side. And Carvalho is... And Ryan Gondo has got the ball on the edge of the penalty box. And he's hooked it back in, but it's come off of Nico Muir. And, well, I think Gary will be expecting us a bit better there. But anyway, Ryan Gondo once again for Hampton. Donaldson. Cox. Miller Rodney, and it cannons off, and it's a fantastic save. Who I feel pretty sure claimed, if the, who would have claimed that goal, Rob? Nico would definitely have claimed <laughs> that goal. Oh, yes, even though it was definitely on target. Dean Inman with the header. Oh. oh, and it's gone wide, and the referee blows the final whistle. So, Gary, heading into the new year with a draw, your immediate thoughts after today's performance? Proud of the performance. Um, there was some fear, I suppose, going into the last 30 minutes of that game with fatigue and tiredness. You know, we're the only team, I think, in the division that's played in all three of those games, both on Boxing Day, the 28th and today. Um, a lot of them players have played most of those minutes, so it's, it was a tough ask for a lot of them. So getting into the latter stages was always going to be a test. But, to, you know, to deal with some adversity in the game and, and for them to level up and, you know, for us to come again, I think the three or four opportunities we've had in the last 10, 10 minutes is, uh, speaks volumes for us. There's a togetherness and there's a resilience about us that I think is uh, is shining through at the moment. So proud, proud of the, the point. A note on Luke as well today, completed 75 minutes on his return. Very encouraging to see. Yep, yeah, I thought he was excellent. I think he fatigued from about 60 minutes on. I think there were the mindset with the management team was to get 60 minutes into him and then make the changes, uh, you know, in and around that moment. But we just we wasn't able to. And as it went on, you know, a bit more fatigue creeps in, and we just didn't want him getting injured. But I thought it was a real positive return. He showed his leadership qualities again, and you know, and I think he's the type of player we want back in and around us. Charlie's imminent as well, which is which is good for us. And, you know, it's uh, he definitely contributed to that point, and to get four points against Dorking over the Christmas period, I don't think there's many teams that will get that return against them. So, again, you know, a lot of credit to the players. And finally, a poignant day on a personal note for yourself as well. Yeah, I did, you know, I really wanted to try and get a win today. It's a really tough day today for my family. Um, it's five years since the passing of my brother um, Lee. You know, we missed deeply, and I really wanted to de dedicate a win to him today. Um, I know my mum will be watching and my family, but it's um, you know, it's 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 a point and it's a good performance, and I'm sure we'll be uh, proud of that. And you know, and I just miss him dearly.